as a weaver, the, these looms were quite different for me to any kind of looms I'd used before because be, they're, they're really machines, um, but they're machines that you power yourself. So there was a lot to learn in terms of managing the, the loom. Um, and that's very much more about being a mechanic than, than a weaver. I feel quite a lot of responsibility <laughs> for, the, for the looms, for the machinery, and they were all built to be making a living and, and helping a person make a living, and, and that's really what I'm here for. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, in my tiny little corner of the planet, just survive. Um, and I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it the same without them. You're with Sam Goats, um, artisan weaver of Woven in the Bone. We're in Bucky, which is a, a historically a, a, was a big hub for the herring fishing industry. So I'm right in the harbour front uh, of Bucky. Um, which is on the Murray Firth in the northeast of Scotland. Weaving, I met my first loom at art school. My mum was big sort of craft, textiles, quilting, sewing, dressmaking, everything. So, um, so I wasn't. I knew I had a bit of a yarn fetish, I guess. So uh, one way or the other, it was we're going to be working with yarn. Started in Scotland, in Glasgow, and I wanted to go sort of travel the world a bit, as you did. And uh, I, I stumbled across a job in a little weaving mill in Sydney, in the in the middle of Metropolis in Sydney, which was just unbelievable. Um, so I basically stayed in Sydney for 20 years, uh, and then came back to Scotland uh, 16 years ago now. Um, and then I've been working in various sort of training, consultancy, uh, various sort of anything I could do to sort of make a living. Uh, so I think by the time I'd come back here and had a few years without doing anything creative, it was just sort of there was a go there was a hole. You know, you were missing you were missing that that sort of. Uh, that joy you get out of that. Um, I really missed the, the hands-on. So when I had stumbled across uh, these little looms, that was that was the kind of light bulb moment of, well, I could be making something. Each, each little machine has its own character and has a story to tell on its own, so I've got a whole shed full of them. Uh, so yeah, I'm so lucky to have them. That's, I mean, the heart of the business is, is the shed and the machines. Um, so I, I'm, I'm well aware of how fortunate I am. For every, every centimetre of the cloth, you have you have a kind of connection to it, and every centimeter, you you've got a kind of story in your head of of how your relationship with this cloth went, and some of them are very friendly, and some of them are top pain in the neck. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's definitely different, I think, to standing in front of a machine where you know you walk away and it's still going. Um, no, it's very, it's totally different. I think there can be a danger in trying, t in a being a maker and trying to do everything. Um, I always like the idea of, of design over fine art in that I like the functionality of something. So the fact that, the fact that I'm weaving cloth that somebody else is going to make into something and use it. I can appreciate um, the tailoring and and the the because my mum had taught me dressmaking and stuff like that. So the hand stitching, I can almost I can imagine what the tailors are, how it feels on the cloth and the different cloths that I make and. Um, so even though I'm not making it up into garments or anything myself. 
I feel I can kind of connect a little bit with it, so it's it's you feel part of a process. Um, I really like that. Working in a slow way is your con. Well, a little, maybe I like to think you're contributing to an awareness of how things are made, but it's it is a niche. Um, and if it helps somebody think about where something else was made and how it was made, then there's a value in that. But I can't make enough cloth to clothe the world. So I'm trying to do my little bit the best I can. And hopefully there's enough people out there that, that connect with it and want to join me.